Yo, what's going on, Sexy Sam? Let us go today. We're here doing a ranked 1v1. Uh, Ymir got changed finally. I was waiting for the change. Obviously, I mean, I made the video two weeks ago or last week. I'm not quite sure. But I made the video waiting for the Ymir change. His wall got changed to the point where you can take it down whenever you want. Which, um, overall is probably a buff. But then... If you compare the cooldown of the wall, like max cooldown wall pre-patch to max cooldown wall this patch, the wall is actually up more often and pre-patch. So I don't know. It's more of a change than it is a buff, but it is a big change regardless. And, and, um, oh, without any items, you're right. Um, his ult will go off all the time now, even when he dies. You sit there charging your ult, and, uh, now when you die, it actually goes off. Imagine that. Imagine an ult actually going off. Are you really Samba, dude? Uh, no. I'm not. Huge fan, though. Huge fan. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> Alright. Alright. I dropped the wall there, by the way. I hope you guys saw it. There's no... I, like, I wish the wall... I wish dropping the wall had an animation. But it doesn't. It literally just looks like the wall breaks. Like... Boop. It's like a normal... It's a normal thing. It's a normal animation for when the wall goes down, you know? And I really wish there was a there was an animation to where it like, because you know when you when you summon it, it comes up from the ground. I wish there was one where, when you retracted it, it would go back down to the ground. But it ain't even like that, I guess. It ain't even like that. Okay. His jump is down. His beads, though, so let's get his beads. Knew that was happening. Alright, we walled off his pillar. Or not his pillar, but his, you know, his two. He has all. He's playing super scared, so. I mean, I guess he knows who I am, and he thinks I'm a good player, so. It makes sense for him to play under tower. But we're just gonna farm up, I guess. I, I can't kill him. Straight up, there's just no way I kill him here. We just farm it up. I don't really know, what do I do to try to... What do I do to try to get him out of his tower? I'm like... The only way I see it... I don't know. Take 
Nice. All right. He jumped in place to try to avoid my my freeze, which that play in and of itself is way more flashy than it is effective because um, let's just say I do freeze there, right? Either way, I'm still alting and getting CC immunity. So you're landing and taking 500 from ult. And then the next logical thing that happens is he alts me because, because I mean, he should, right? And if he's alting me, when he's already 500 HP down, I can kind of just tank that to the mouth and then beat his ass while he's alting me, you know? <laughs> like, it really just, it's not an effective play. But if you, if you pull it off, it looks cool. I'll say that. It's, it's a YouTube play, you know? It's a play you make to look cool, but it's not actually good, but people think it's good because it looked cool, you know? The YouTube play. Hmm. I really thought he would have tried to juke, but he didn't. He just knocked me back. If I knew he was just going to go for the knockback, I would have walled in front of me and then dropped it and killed him. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I'm shit. Let's go Demonic. Actually, let's go Breastplate. Because of the new... The new way that... uh the wall is it goes on cooldown after it falls rather than when you put it up so let me show you right you put it up you see how it's blinking now instead of on cooldown it used to be on cooldown but um now it just blinks and it goes on cooldown after the wall breaks down so now max cooldown is kind of pretty important for your mirror because you need to get that cooldown way down. Because previously, with max cooldown, um, max cooldown on your mirror wall, you could, at level 20, you could keep the wall up and only have, uh, I think, two or three seconds, I'm not sure which one it was, of downtime on your wall with max cooldown, which is insane, right? Only two or three seconds of downtime on your wall. Um, now, I think, with max cooldown at max rank, it's four seconds downtime with your wall. So, like I said, overall, it's a little bit of a change. Um, I don't really know if I would call it a nerf or a buff, but a change. I mean, actually, even though it's up less overall, I might consider it a buff. Just because of the fact that, uh, you know, if they outplay you, you can just drop your fucking wall, you know? He knows who he's fighting. He ain't gonna push it this time. Last time he pushed it, he almost died. Alright, he walled off his two. Kill down, kill down. My minions are getting tower. I'm just trying to bop these these minions. I didn't pick up red, huh? I want to see if I can. I want to see if I can go. Um, Hasten, hasten ring? Is that what it's called? Yeah, hasten ring. That's what it's called. Because he doesn't have sprint or anything. So I go hasten ring. With my passive. We're on that full bop territory. Does this still increase the stun duration? It does, okay. So... 
I haven't really been able to showcase the alt too much this game, but I have been able to showcase the wall. Alright, because the wall, I mean... Honestly... I don't think the wall, um... Well, actually, I don't know. Because right there is pretty good. I am of two minds about this change. Like right here, I like it right here because you just group them up and then you drop it. Because that's the only reason you use your wall for. hold my minions off just a second so that I can group up these minions better ouch um I guess I just go do red I can't get his phoenix I don't have the attack speed yet I don't got the demonic and the hastened and the whatnots Oh, well, he's a who's it. Group him up and then drop the wall. Make sure it goes on cooldown fast. Let's go pick up this red buff because I like damage. And get. I kind of want all three of these. He only has 82 defense. I'm going Ace and Ring first. Come on, ugly, spawn up. It's almost blinking. Oh, I suck. Damn, that stun's actually really long. What's that stun duration? 2.25? That's pretty up there. Anubis's wrap fully max is only two, I think, right? Mere stun's kind of hefty. I guess it's supposed to be though, right? Like it's supposed to be CC for your team and all that shit. Oh no. Where is he? Damn, he knows I didn't back. How do you know that? What the fuck? You watch my videos. Oh, my coffee's kind of cold. Ew. Actually, ew. I don't like cold coffee. I know people out there love um, <coughs> iced coffee. I've never had it. Um, I'm told it's a lot more milky than normal coffee, which means it's better cold. But I don't know how much of that I believe. I don't know why I walled myself there. Whatever, I'm healing. I'm healing. Got the attack speed soon. I can't even get close to the guy. He's just sitting in a tower. I think I'll probably just go do Bold Demon. <clears throat> Once I get my next um, attack speed item. Which is probably going to be Telekines, if I had to take a guess. Oh, it's actually up. He's so nice to me. It's 2100 for Telekines. These aren't up? 
You got the minis, but not the blue? That's a little weird. I heard him doing his speed, so there's no point in going over there. But I can do this. Okay, never mind. Why are all the minis on the game down? But his blue buff wasn't down. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't get it. But whatever. We're going to get this. It's 100 power, which is big. That's big, big. He's going Aussie right now, I guess. Could be an executioner, I guess. I do have 151 defense with only one defensive item because, hello, Guardian. He's doing the minis again. Alright. I do think it's really good, the wall is, because you can kind of, you can put the wall up and then um, get their jump or their dash or whatever you can get. And then just drop it immediately so that it goes straight on cooldown. And that's pretty huge. Your middle tower is under attack. You stop. Okay. Yeah, he just backed. Alright. Whatever, dude. This is, the wall buff is much better shown off against like a Bastet or someone like that. Bopped them once and I let the minions finish him off. And that should be game over. I'm going to hold my minions here for a second. Because he's got minions spawning and I want a bigger wave for Phoenix. Or for Titan, I mean. Now I got a massive wave on Titan. And even if he does spawn, the only way he clears a wave this big is by jumping in and ulting. Which... Um... You won't even have the option to do because I killed the Titan that fast. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video showcasing the new changes to Ymir. Um, if you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.